What are contrafection layers? It's the same as contraception, contraconception, but for infections, contrainfections, contrafections. It is when you meet somebody else, how do you reduce the likelihood that the other person is going to be infected? And so the first thing is that if you are with another person that is infected, that's shedding the virus, that ejecting it, you want that person to not speak as much, to not shout, to not yell, to not sing. Because the more you talk, the stronger you communicate, the more there's going to be virus expelled. So the first uh, lesson to reduce the contagiousness is don't talk, scream, or sing. Aside from that, you also want to avoid meeting people for a long time because the more time you spend with them, the more virus is going to reach you and the more likelihood that you are going to be infected. The next thing is wear a mask because if you're covering the mouth, you cannot eject as much virus uh, because it, a lot of it is going to be stopped on the mask. So wear masks. But it's not enough to cover the mouth because you also expel some virus through the nose. Just by breathing, you should be wearing a mask, but not just on the mouth, but also on the nose. Obviously, the recipient should also wear a mask. Obviously, same thing, we also want to cover the nose because the nose can also receive virus ejected by somebody else that is infected. Obviously, that still means that you have the eyes where you can catch it. And there's a lot of evidence now that suggests people might be catching the virus through the eyes. So you want to protect that too. And so the recipient should be wearing goggles. And because you never know whether you're infected or not, really everybody should be wearing goggles. Now, the best measure of them all to reduce contagiousness for contrafection is being out in the outdoors. If you're out there, the air is circulating and it carries with it a lot of the virus and it's killing it relatively quickly, apparently. And so you are very, very safe. If on top of being outside, you are also wearing masks and goggles, the likelihood that you're going to be infected is extremely low. But unfortunately, not everybody can meet outdoors. So the next best thing is to meet indoors, but with the windows open and with a fan. That will circulate the air and extract with it a lot of the virus that is hanging in the air. And that will reduce the viral load that you can catch from the air into your face, through the eyes, mouth, and nose. In some circumstances, weather might be really bad, and so you might not be able to have windows open. So what can you do? Well, you can increase the temperature. You can humidify the air to 50 to 65%. And you can filter the air. All of these are ways to actually kill the virus. It's proven that with warmer temperatures, the virus dies faster. It is also true with humidity between 50 and 65%. It appears that the virus uh, might die faster. And now obviously, if you are filtering the air, you will be catching a lot of the virus, if the filters are good. So if you need to stay home, uh, have heat with the right humidity and air filtering. And so these are all the measures that you can uh, use to reduce uh, contagiousness, to have contrafection. First, don't talk, scream, or sing. Spend little time together, wear a mask, cover the nose with a mask, use goggles for self-protection, meet outdoors if you can. If you cannot, meet indoors, but open the windows and circulate the air. And if you can't, increase the heat, get the right humidity, and filter the air.